Mario backpacks and an SLR mount for your iPhone. It's episode 17 of Loot. Wear your glasses and shades together in one piece while browsing portal necklaces, aperture totes, laptop stickers, and on and on and on. And here's a book that shows you how to build weapons out of stuff you've got around the office or classroom. Now that you're officially awesome, chew on some beef jerky. Potato chips. And rather than buying someone a card for every occasion, buy a bunch of utility cards. Each card's word search contains more than 100 wishes and sentiments, so just circle the ones that apply to that person on that day. With all the time you save, relax with a drink in a doom glass while wearing literary-themed t-shirts. Moby Dick, The Bell Jar, Telltale Heart, The Sun Also Rises, and more. Now look, cats love chasing laser pointers, but why do all that difficult hand moving when you could have the Frolicat Bolt do it for you? The Museum of Modern Art carries toast coasters and a bubble necklace. Or make a bubble necklace for free in the shower while storing products on the shower squid. Then clean your hands with some hand soap. No, no, no some hand soap. Once they're clean, shove on some pickle finger puppets while your pet finger paints masterpieces with no mess thanks to Think Geek, which also offers a bacon-scented air freshener and chapstick. I mean, spam-flavored lip glaze. Charge your phone in an emergency with this solar-powered USB charging pack that gives you eight extra hours of power and teach your baby something new thanks to Tiffany Ard. She designs X and Y chromosome earrings as well as this baby room picture that teaches not ABCs, not 123s, but prime numbers from two ladybugs to 41 pieces of bacon to 53 snails. Before we run out of time, let's talk about time, telling it complexly and beautifully. Tokyo Flash designs amazing sci-fi watches that you'll know how to read while confusing strangers and attracting hot alien ladies. I leave you with some of Nido Shop's I Heart shirts. And not a free thing, but a free piece of historical information, what I like to call epic gifts in history. In 1865, Seth Kinman gave President Andrew Johnson a chair, a chair made out of a bear. Who exactly was Seth Kinman? Well, he was a hunter who owned a bar and once played fiddle for Abraham Lincoln. You know, a fiddle that he made out of a mule skull. They're not yet available to buy online, but in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching.